guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to look at a deck that absolutely destroys the venusaur drop event uh, it's gonna make it really easy for you guys you go out to pick up all those rewards and clear all those extra um, missions that we need to do so we're going to come down to expert because we're a pro and then look at the first battle task so first battle task three two and one diamond rarity this deck does that um, we need to win in 12 turns. We can do that in this deck as well. And then we need to win a battle with our opponent getting any points. This one could be a little bit tricky. It comes down to what we've got in our hand. Depends what our opponent has in their hand. But we can do it. This deck has done it. I've done it with this deck. And we've got to get 10 and 20 battles. That just comes down to time. You know, it's only been out for a couple of hours now. And then the first time rewards as well, we'll pick that up. So let's check out the deck. Okay, we're scrolling, we're scrolling, and there it is, the Cheapskate deck. So we have two Charmanders, two Volpix, two Charmeleon, two Ninetales, and only one Charizard. Um, I'll explain that in a moment. Um, we've got two Potions, two Pokeballs, one Red Card, two Professors, two Blaines, one Sabrina, and one Giovanni. So Blaine and Giovanni, they, we've got three damage cards. They are really good for this deck. And that's why we had to drop one Charizard. Um, obviously, it's easier for us to get nine tails. So that's why I chose to drop Charizard over nine tails. Um, but yeah, Charizard, obviously, really, really solid. 150 HP, 150 damage from Fire Spin. A um, little bit of a slow burn. No pun intended. Um, we've got four energy. So it takes a while to build him up. And we do discard two energy cards you know, once, you know, once we've used fire spin, but, um, once you get Charizard up and running, he does slap and he will just go through the team. Like no one's one, like no one's business, uh, nine tails, a little bit low on the HP side. Um, only two energy though for flamethrower, 90 damage. That is a huge smack. And with Giovanni, that 10 damage is going to make sure we do take out, um, Genghis Khan because he can be, a little bit of a pain and obviously Blaine as well. We're going to do an extra 30 damage. That's pretty, pretty crazy. If you wanted as well, you could just run a classic Blaine deck, but um, I just prefer this deck. So we've got two potions to keep our Pokemon healed up. Uh, two Pokeballs, obviously Pokeballs and Professor Oak. They are just the core of every single deck. Pokeballs to get our Pokemon and then Professor just to help us cycle through the deck a little bit faster red card it will screw them over because we know that they need the three card evolution with venusaur so that's going to help stall out the fight and then we've got sabrina who's just great for control just be able to bring in a weak opponent so you get a one shot it's the best sabrina is a great card so let's get some battles on oh actually and let me show you guys how to build your own deck so we go to search Come down to here, click the three, uh, up to three diamonds on rarity, then fire, and we can see all the different cards that we can use. Um, Magma, I'm not a huge fan of. Even with Blaine, he still doesn't hit hard enough for me. Um, and same with Rapidash as well. Just not, not a huge fan. Flareon is great. Crazy good, actually. Uh, three energy for 110 damage. Pretty tanky, 120 HP. I know he discharges one energy as well. Oh, and now that's stuck in the deck. That's annoying. Yeah, it's sorry guys, I went to just like zoom in for you. Um, but yeah, uh, but the rest of the cards I'm not too keen on. So yeah, this is what we're going to roll with. Let's get some battles on. Okay, so we're going into expert mode. So it's going to have Venusaur and Lilligant. And can be... It can be a little bit tricky, but with this deck, it's obviously we're using fire. We've got the odds in our favor and we're going first, which is not the best, not the best starting hand either. So um, Charmander is probably the worst you can have. You definitely want Volpix to go in first. And it's just that Charmander sort of works against himself. So he's going to basically discard energy and we need that energy to build up our, our Charizard. So that kind of sucks. 
And yeah, so it's for Nine Tails, Rapidash, and Magmar. And then Giovanni, we can use for anyone. So we can two shot Bulbasaur, but we'd rather get Volpix out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put everything to Volpix and into Nine Tails. And then we'll swap out Charmander for Volpix. I think that's the only problem that with this deck, I did leave out X Speed. X Speed is great. But I just I just want to do damage and I just want to try and clear this as fast as I can. And yeah, we'll definitely make sure we get that evolution. And sometimes the AI is not the best. It might make a silly play, like it'll drop um Sabrina and bring in Charmander. And look look at that. For some reason they decided to um put Venusaur in the front. I don't know why you would do that. Um, obviously, it's AI. It's not the smartest thing to do. But we've got two Blains in hand. So let's drop it. We're going to do 120 damage. Or 150. Bang! Oh, 140. But big, big damage. Venusaur's going down next turn. And then we can just take out Ivysaur really quickly as well. And we are... Oh, they're going to stall me out. Don't stall me, bro. Don't stall me. So that is a little bit of an issue is that Charmander does take a little, well, this is a little bit of an issue that we do have at the moment because we don't have that flexibility. I'm going to have to wait another turn. And yeah, so one of the issues is that nine tails can be one shot by Venusaur. That is an issue. And they're just going to heal back up. But it's all good. It's just this Ivysaur here that we really need to take out. And I will drop Sabrina. I'm hoping it does push out um, Ivysaur. And yeah, it just... I, 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 I kind of hate playing against AI. I'd always rather play against a person. But yeah, Retreat. Venusaur. Well, Ivysaur down. Obviously, if that had become a Venusaur, that would be a big issue. And I'm guessing he's going to play Venusaur. And that's it, guys. Easy win. And what turn are we On turn 12. So we didn't manage to do this as quickly as I would have liked to have. But we are going to do this without them, without our opponent getting a turn. Or oh, sorry, without our opponent getting a point. I will drop Charmeleon. And that's it, guys. Easy win. Easy money. Let's do just one more just to show you guys how good the deck is against this. And there it is. See you later, buddy. All right, here we go again, guys. And obviously, we're going up against the AI. Going second. You know, it's so much better going second. I do feel like most fights can just be decided by a coin toss. Oh, so this is going to be a tricky one. Uh, Kangaskhan, he's really difficult to deal with. And Charmander as well, just being, well, one shot ball, but also wastes energy. It's the one thing I hate about Charmander is I just don't feel like they should have that because it really makes it difficult for, for when you get to Charizard. It's just so hard. So I'm actually going to end my turn. I'm going to hold off, just see what next card we pull. Depending on that, I might start trying to do something with, with Charmander. Okay, so we've got Charmeleon. Gonna have to evolve. And there's two reasons for this. One, I don't want to waste energy. And two, one more energy, we're gonna get 60 so we can start popping off. And having that 90 HP means we can tank a hit from Kangaskhan. We don't want to get one shotted. So we're actually in a pretty comfy spot right now. And because it's AI, it's gonna keep uh, Venusaur in front. Obviously, if you were playing this, you'd want your Kangaskhan out in front. Uh, Kangaskhan is actually my new favorite. Um, yeah, let's drop Giovanni. Do with extra damage. So I think that's a 90. Yeah, 90 damage. So two more hits and should be game over. It's going to be really hard for Venusaur to deal with that. 
They might have Erica in hand, though. There it is. There it is. But, um, yeah, you want your Kangaskhan in front. He's a really good stall card. And um, and you'd have Venusaur sitting in the back. And then once Venusaur gets going, Venusaur's really difficult to deal with. Um, I still think Charizard, I'd say, is better overall. But I'd, I'd probably play Venusaur more. And Blastoise, somewhere way at the back with no one playing him. Uh, he gets no love. No love for Blastoise, which is a real shame, actually. Because he was one of my favorite Pokemon back in the day. We just need a freaking Charizard. Can we get one? Okay, so yeah, just going to heal up with that potion. I will... S I'm going to diversify. I'm going to put some energy in Volpix. Just in case something happens to Charmeleon and it's not going our way. Otherwise, um, you know, I could just keep putting energy into Charmeleon. But when we pull Charizard, oh, big hit coming in from Kangaskhan. 60 damage. Ooh, not good. So, yeah, that's going to put us in a bit of a sticky situation. But yeah, we can definitely pick up another Pokemon. Another Vulpix. And let's uh, get that Ninetales out there. So we're going to take out Kangaskhan. I'm hoping he plays Venusaur in the front. Because then we can we can win this pretty quickly. And also without them getting any points as well. But we've not managed to do it in turn in 12 turns. It really does come down to luck. Like if you can get nine tails and a grass Pokemon in front, you will win this really, really quickly. Okay, so gonna drop nine tails. So we're one for one. And Charmander, so we're going to just keep pumping energy into Nine Tails. Drop Flame for our, It's pretty much game over now, guys. Um, just need to keep pushing this out. And we'll just see Patil. Don't know why you would do that. And let's have our oh, Lilligan. Okay. And we're going to do some BM right now. We're going to drop Blaine. Okay, doing some weird stuff right now. Ooh, but yeah, big hit coming in from Kangaskhan. And here it is, guys. Gonna drop Blaine. And we're two for two. I think that's good enough for me, guys. Um, And yeah, sit down. 120 damage, easy win. Obviously using Blaine there as well, who, like I said, great damage card for this deck two easy wins and i hope this guy this video helps you guys like you know build your own decks or use the same deck just to you know and then pick up that venusaur as well because I, I do like venusaur venusaur is a really really good card really fun to play with i mean well venusaur ex and the the non-ex version can be fun i know there's that secret game mode that you can play where you're not allowed to use ex pokemon as well but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash that smash, that subscribe, and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace!